Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to Wednesday Maths. So, let's have a quick look at what we're going to be doing today. I'll start off with the year sixes. You guys are working in these books, and you're on pages 60 and 61. Your focus today is all about circles. There we go. So, that's what your page looks like. Um, I'll just briefly explain something when it comes to circles, because I don't think we've covered this yet this year. Um, when we've got a circle, for example, like this, there are three things that we can measure. We can measure the circumference, which is all the way around the edge of the circle. We don't need to worry about that too much. We just need to know that all the way around the edge is called the circumference. We can measure a line which goes from one side to the other, which goes through the middle. That's called the diameter. Or we can measure from the middle of the circle to the edge of the circle. That's called the radius. So, if you look carefully at it, two radiuses make the diameter. Okay, so diameter is from one side to the other, but it has to go through the middle. It's a straight line. Radius is just from the center to the edge. Circumference all the way around. Okay, so pretty straightforward, fairly easy to understand. You should have everything you need to answer those questions there. Okay, right on to year fives, this book, ta-da! And you guys working on pages 56 and 57. And we've got some work on 3D shape. It's all fairly straightforward. Uh, again, if you're at all unsure about any of the shape names and things, then just give them a quick Google. There's plenty of information out there that's easily accessible that will explain it all, rather than me having to go through every single one. And I don't have the 3D shapes here at home at the moment. Um, down here, these are to do with nets. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you've covered this before, but nets are, if you like, if you unfold um, a 3D shape to make it flat, then that's the net. So you've got some nets to look at here and thinking about what shapes they might make. If, imagine if you could cut them out and then make the shape up, what would the shape be? Uh, and yeah, other than that, it's all fairly straightforward. You're on pages 56 and 57, both pages year fives, or book fives. And then if you are on book four, ta-da, you're working on pages 62 and 63. And you are looking today at time graphs. So we've got various graphs set up uh, which represent different times and things. But what I'd like you to do is just have a look at this one and just do page 62. There's quite a lot on it there. Um, if you've got someone around at home who can help you, have a look at the graph. Do what we do in school. Have a look at it. Think about it. Make sure you understand it before you read the questions. Make sure you understand what the table is here and how that might fit onto the graph. So it's worth thinking about that before you get started. Then have a go at answering those questions. And there you go. That's your maths done for the day. So, have a wonderful Wednesday. See you later.